Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Enjoying the Journey. Cancer is a lifestyle. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I had a weekend off this past weekend, so yeah, I had a really good, nice weekend. <laughs> uh, we are back to our regular schedule at work, so I am really excited about that. And uh, so on the weekend, I got up really early on Saturday and uh, with the birds on Saturday and I went to the Amish to do some shopping since I had to throw out all that freezer food uh, from that power outage that we had and um, so I had to replenish some of my stock so I drove up really early so I would uh, you know I didn't want to spend the whole day driving there so uh, you know no traffic or in you know in the morning at that time I think I was there like right when they opened right after they opened so a lot of Amish uh, you know <laughs> I think the Amish get up with the birds too, and they do all their shopping and all their stuff. Uh, I mean, they were all on the roads. They were in the stores. It was just, it was just the Amish and me. <laughs> but anyway, I got that done, and I also had a quite a nice little productive uh, weekend. So I thought I'd share some with you. I made a couple more uh, bagel days. Had a had a palooza which I told you guys I was going to put the playlist down below and I did not do that with the last one so I'm going to have to do it with this one and I'm going to add on to the other one even though it's kind of late so I that playlist of her hats these are the hats from the bottom up she has a playlist of that so I'm going to show you the ones that I have uh, been working on in that playlist so here's one that's called she calls it the caterpillar stitch you can see that stitch really here better because this is variegated it is a semi textured you can't really it's just a little bit of a texture on it but otherwise I had uh, some of the scrap the variegated here and this was the leftover teal little bit that I had and I had just enough to make a border around it so I did like that it kind of reminds me of a larkspur stitch but this is basically what it looks like on the bottom here very nice hat I like the way this one came out the colors look good together uh, this one here is the um, her cluster stitch which again I ran out of this I didn't have enough so I just kind of matched it up with, uh, with this some of the brick that I had in my stash so here's one then I've had a little bit more of the uh, the purple for the shaken baby syndrome. So I made another hat for the shaken baby syndrome right here. One more hat. Then I went back and did her um, her checkered hat that she had. I really like this one. Um, it was really easy to make. Um, I think I kind of made a, a little bit bigger so it'll be like a slouchy. I uh, This is that brick that I had. I, I kind of didn't have enough to go around so I put some brown in it I think it came out good so here it is so that's fine it's gonna be like a slouchy so I think I like that one that checker really easy to make I you know no problemo just finished this one this is her V it's actually single crochet V stitch single crochet V stitch and she just repeats it all the way up it's really nice really nice looks good this is in the Kelly green so that's about it for the hats I made those then I started a blanket you guys let me get the blanket uh, I have a whole bunch of this um, yarn that was donated in in the um, in the jumble and uh, this is uh, I don't even know what it is because literally I'm going to show you hold on a second um, it was came donated in these huge balls like this so um, so I have a whole bunch of them in different colors and also I thought you know what this is probably going to be enough to make a blanket so I went back to uh, Crystal from Bag of Day and I looked up another one of her playlists for blankets this time because uh, you know I'm making a lot of blankets this year so I wanted to make different varieties of stitches and things like that so you know you just don't get bored so this is the very first one that I saw on her playlist and it is called the, the um, excuse me hold on uh, the oyster stitch 
look how pretty that comes out and this is about all I got done I started it and it's gonna be quite a, a, a big one I, I kind of made see look so that's gonna be a nice size blanket um, I figure since I had all of that big ball I'm gonna just use it up for a blanket like the way it's coming out you see that that's called the oyster stitch very pretty similar to the shell but it's got more of a texture um, that you will see so it's coming out really nice and this is that teal color ball like I said I have a whole big ball of that and I have several of these balls in different colors so I think they'll be perfect for the so this is about all that I got done for that so I've also been doing a little bit of um, you know decluttering every so many months I have to declutter uh, because um, I just I just get I, I don't like clutter I don't like clutter and uh, I feel when I am too cluttered in especially like in my room right here then I feel like my whole life is a mess so when I start decluttering and cleaning out and getting rid of things I feel like I'm my life I'm um, I have control over my life and it's just a mind thing I know but um, I feel like we are just overflowing with things. We did a major one three years ago when we moved here. We literally got rid of half of everything we owned. And we really went through because we were coming, you know, three and a half mile, uh, three and a half hours away from our home. We were came to central Illinois. And uh, so we really decluttered. And that felt really good to just like purge. It was like a purge. We need to do another purge. <laughs> So when I was visiting my mom in Chicago, like I told you guys, I spent a couple of days there. Uh, she had a whole bunch of plastic bags uh, that she saved for me. So we spent like a whole um, evening just cutting up plastic bags for uh, homeless mats and making balls and just talking away the night. I mean, we, we had a really good time together. We really did. I had a wonderful time in Chicago with my family. But... I have all this plarn uh, that I need to put, uh, you know, because once I start making the mats, it's like you go through the plarn like it's nothing. So if you guys, uh, and you know that my cats love the plarn, so I always have to store it. I'm always trying to find some gen ingenious ways to store it where they can't get at it. And this last, uh, last episode, um, Katrina blessed me with the dolly and it came in this beautiful bag container if you guys remember if you go back to that video and it's a really nice sturdy material really sturdy bag so I kind of frugal person that I am I'm not throwing it out I'm gonna reuse this and I've been putting my plarn balls in here and my plarn and uh, then I have it sealed tight because you have your ribbon and look you know and it cinches it together and it keeps it away from them so they can't get to it but yeah so I'm excited about that this way I can eliminate a lot of the boxes and bags and totes that I have full of plastic yarn plastic plarn but anyway I have been busy trying to play catch up with uh, all the videos and the comments and it's a lot because you still you know I'm still working full-time but I, I've been watching um, Ambie, Ambie's Crafts and More, excuse me, and she does this uh, Tuesday, uh, Tag Tuesdays, and uh, she did a tag that I, she just made it up, and I really loved it so much, and I thought I would do that today for Ambie. So Ambie, this one's for you, because I, you know, I love tags, and I have not done one in a long time, and I really like this one. So... <laughs> It's called the 12 months about me tag. So January is the first month. And what was the first book you feel you fell in love with? So the very first book I ever fell in love with was actually, um, oh my goodness, uh, Sherlock Holmes. It was uh, in, in, I was 14. 14 slash 50 yeah 14 I was a freshman and it was for my uh, literature class and we had to read a book we had to do book reports do you guys remember those book reports I don't even know if kids do book reports anymore but we had to keep journal and we had to keep uh, we had to do book reports 
And we also had to do poetry reports too. So I, the very first book that I really sat down and, and thoroughly enjoyed, like enjoyed, not that they made me read it or anything, but I could read any book I wanted. So I went and I got the Sherlock Holmes book and it had a collection of all his, um, all his, you know, um, cases. And that was the very first uh, book that I totally picked out on my own and I loved it and I fell in love with mysteries. That was, that was the start of it. So February, Valentine's Day, what is your relationship status? Boy, she gets down right to it, don't she? I am single and I intend on staying single. I, <laughs> you, you, you may laugh at that, but I, that is like, everybody always asks me, you know, like, well, how come you don't get married? How come you don't want to get married again? Or how come you don't want to settle down again? Or how come you don't want to, you know, be in a relationship again? Or I don't want to do any of that anymore. <laughs> I look forward to the day where I am totally an empty nester living by myself where I don't have to, uh, you know, have and where I just take care of myself. I don't want to cook for anybody. I don't want to clean for anybody. I don't want to shop for anybody. I want to just, you know, this way I can sleep when I want to. I want to eat when I want to. I want to do what I want to. So I look forward to that day where there is only me. One day. <laughs> okay, March. When is your birthday? Because it is her. March is her birthday. Amy's month. So when is your birthday? My birthday is January. And my mom had us. There's three of us. And I'm the middle child. And my mom had us exactly three years apart. I don't know how she was able to plan all this. Because <laughs> there's people that try. <laughs> But she planned those exactly three years apart. So we're all like uh, uh, winter babies. You know, she planned those exactly three years apart. So my brother is also in January. I'm in January. Um, uh, there's quite a few January birthdays in my family. Yeah. So April. April showers. What is your favorite type of weather? Mm, mm. I love the four seasons. I know this sounds crazy because everybody's going to say summer and everybody's going to say, you know, they want the beach and all that. I love the four seasons. I am a person that I don't know if I could live in one season kind of weather. I, I feel like I need all three seasons. So whenever like now I love, you know, I love summer. I love the long days. I'm always ready for it. And, uh, but then, you know, at the end of summer, I'm kind of done and I kind of want cooler weather and I'm going to want to nestle. I'm going to want to, uh, you know, so I like all four and I especially like it when it rains. Now, <laughs> I know this last time we had a, we had a EF2 tornado come through here and, uh, knocked out our power and everything for like, you know, Oh, by the way, they all got their power by Friday, which is, I think it was day eight or nine. So everybody in town finally got it within 10 days. Um, so I kind of, I like that. I like when it rains um, because I can curl up on the, I love that. I love with my windows when it's cooler and I open up my windows. I actually prefer natural air than getting you know even though I have central air here I'm kind of spoiled but I like a breeze I like it in the 70s and 80s where you know you can just it's real comfortable weather but I love all four seasons you know let's see May bring May flowers what is your favorite flower oh I love I will tell you lilacs um I have a lot of good memories with lilacs. I, I just I just love them. We used to go for walks all the time with my mom and my kids. And uh, there was always a lilac bush in someone's yard. And I would just sniff off a little piece. That little piece that you sniff off and put in your, in a glass or something in your house. It just ha is so fragrant. Uh, so I like, I like um, on, uh, different kinds of flowers, you know. I like, uh, you could say that I like... Um, wildflowers more than I do like uh, roses for instance for a long time I did not like roses at all um you know my ex whenever 
uh, <laughs> whenever he would mess up, he would always buy me red roses. And to this, for a long time, I hated red roses because <laughs> it just like, how many times are you going to do that? <laughs> uh, June, summer starts. What is your favorite ice cream? I like uh, basic ice creams. I don't really care for all the toppings. Like people will put on nuts and whipped cream and cherry and, oh my goodness, chocolate and M&Ms and sprinkles. I don't go for all that. I like my basic, I like vanilla. I like uh, butter pecan, walnut, um, coffee flavor. Like I will just take a, a simple, solid, you know, I don't need all that. I prefer a cone, just a plain cone, than, than all the other things that they put on there. It's too much. Uh, let's see, what is that? July, July 4th. Do you have any family in the military? I used to have family in the military, uh, but um, I was a step-grandma, and my step-grandson was um, uh, in the National Guard, uh, and... Uh, yeah, and he still is. But now that my son is divorced, uh, they're no longer together. The family just kind of split. So I'm no longer a grandma. Not by choice, guys. Uh, August, back to school. What was your favorite subject in school? Well, my favorite subject was always math. I, I can do math pretty good in my head really fast. I love math. As I was in school and I took it further up, I ended up, you know, not just algebra, but, you know, as you go in trigonometry and all that, it, um, it got harder and harder and it wasn't as much fun because it didn't come as naturally. I had to really study for it, but I love math. Math is my one of my favorite subjects and I can work out things in my head a lot faster than some people do. I've also enjoyed very much English and uh, literature. I loved literature. Like I said, it was high school that changed my um, my love for literature, for reading, and I was a teacher that we had. And, um, and all the things that she did with us to kind of, she really engaged us a lot where you wanted to read, you wanted to journal, you wanted to just do a lot of things like that. So uh, those were my two favorite subjects in school. Now I would add also history, but at that time I didn't, I didn't think much of history, but now as I'm older, I love history. Um, what is that? August, September, Labor Day. What is your job? Well, I am semi-retired. What I call semi-retired, but I'll probably never retire. I, I worked at one job for 25 years. I was an area lead for Avon Products. And I did that for 25 years. I, I retired from that three years ago. I took my pension and we moved here to Central Illinois. At that time, I didn't care. At this point, um, this is my uh, what I would be doing or anything. I took a job with... Um, in a retirement uh, facility, so uh, I'm with. I work with senior um, senior people. I work in the laundry department. Um, I love the senior citizens that are there. I will tell you that um, they are really special people. I will tell you, and they're very. Um, they just want someone to to sit down and acknowledge them and have a conversation with them. So even if you just stop and say hello and how was your morning going, they love that. They love the interaction that goes on. And uh, because, you know, they're, they, uh, they're, you know, when they come into a uh, facility, uh, they're, they're kind of limited, you know what I mean, as to what they can do and not do. And, uh, and their whole schedule is based on, they don't have a schedule. People make a schedule for them, but it's not by choice. So um, I think it's the lack of interaction with other people that they miss the most. So I, I, I do enjoy that. And I often thought that, you know, if I could like start a second career if I was younger, I, I could actually care for seniors. I, I wouldn't mind taking care of them and being a CNA and, and um, just, you know, I, I would love to do that. Uh, they're very special, lovely people, I will tell you. And a side note, all the women talk about their mothers and their children. They don't talk about their husbands at all. Not one, I, I, 
very rarely, and I mean rarely, I think I've only had two women that I've known that were ever just, no, excuse me, three, three women in the three years that I've worked there that they have uh, cared about, that would just talk about their husbands. The rest of them, they talk about their moms and they talk about their children. Uh, the men, uh, <laughs> men are something else. <laughs> But I love them. They're honorary. Oh, are they honorary? <laughs> but October, Halloween. What is your favorite candy bar? Oh, you know, it's kind of funny because I don't care for chocolate per se, but I love chocolate candy bars. So I love like Mars and I love, oh my goodness, um, Snickers and I love, uh, you know, peanut butter Reese's and like, I love all that. But I don't really care for chocolate itself, like in a cake form or pudding or in anything else. But I love the chocolate candy bars. I really just do. <laughs> November, Thanksgiving. What is your favorite food? Ah, oh, I think out of all, I do like uh, I do like uh, turkey. But I will tell you, I love mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes and I love cranberry sauce with mashed potatoes. And I'm going to tell you a secret that I often even make stuffing throughout the uh, year. And I make, and I actually serve cranberry sauce throughout the year. I don't just wait for uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> so <laughs> we're just that type of family. We don't just, you know, wait for Thanksgiving to make, you know, like sweet potato. <laughs> or whatever. We just make that, you know, throughout the year. But I love the, the the traditionals and I love food, period. So I, I will try anything new and, and things like that. But yeah. So December, Christmas. What is your favorite Christmas movie? My all-time favorite Christmas movie is... What is the name of that thing? But... What is the... What is it? Kid, you're going to not... You're going to... What? knock your eye out with that gun you know that kid that wanted the gun he wanted that uh um yeah and for gun for christmas and his because <laughs> you're gonna knock your eye out <laughs> and then his friend would put his tongue to the pole and it got stuck on the pole what is that oh my goodness i but i love that movie and the dad who gets the the you know wins the the prize of that lamp the shape like a leg <laughs> Oh, I love that movie. You could watch it over and over and over again and just laugh at it all over again. Like, it's just, this isn't a traditional family. Or this is how I grew up. <laughs> I grew up like that. And this is how every, that's how I think of, you know, probably different nowadays. But I, I just think that, I love that movie. It's awesome awesome and your mom would you know wrap that was remember how they would go to school and they'd be so wrapped up with scarves and hats and then they couldn't even walk <laughs> that's how it was that's just how it was for me so what is that what was the name of it christmas story no oh i love it, it it's just one of my favorite things and i've also loved the griswolds do you guys remember griswolds family vacations and the christmas one they had <laughs> He thought he was getting a bonus. <laughs> I love Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase always thought that he was just a mediocre actor. But to me, I thought he was a really funny actor. He was just, he was a funny actor that didn't have to do a lot of acting. <laughs> he was just funny, just being himself. So anyway, that's my tag. I'll put the questions down below if you guys are interested in doing it. I hope you have fun with it. Go ahead and do it also. Tags are fun. It breaks up the monotony sometimes. Use it on your live, you know. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I got for you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.